<laughs> Boy, you guys are tough. Can't show that on TV. My kids are looking at that. <laughs> Let's meet our enforcers, Maurice Lucas, the godfather of fouls. He had a great NBA career, including some time here in Portland. Uh, welcome, Maurice. Thank you. Rick Mahorn, little Ricky, as his mother calls him, the original bad boy of the Pistons, now with the Philadelphia 76ers, and the other half of Thump and Bump, Charles Barkley, who was not only made this an art form, he admits it. <laughs> Marisa, you started all this. Are these guys good followers? Yeah, I think so. I, I remember when I started raising this young man right here. He's done well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, I learned a lot from you. Those nice elbows and those pulling on the pants. Look at that statistic there. 3,498 fouls, uh, CB. I'm a long way behind him, but he is the master. He gave us all our reputation. <laughs> well, let me talk about it. What does it take to be a good enforcer, Rick? I think it just takes a big body, and I think both of these guys have it. They really outdid me. <laughs> Maurice, what does it take? I, I think you have to establish yourself as a, as a very physical player. You have to go out and play very aggressive night after night. I think once you establish that reputation, you get some leniency from the referee. Now, come on. Some of those hits are a little unfair, aren't they, CB? No, they're not fair. Anything, once the game starts, everything is fair to the end of the game. Rick? You have to keep things not over the rules, but you can't break the rules. A lot of these guys have broke the rules on some of those clips. As long as you don't get arrested for it, it's all right. <laughs> Is it tougher now, uh, Maurice, than it was back in the old days? Well, I think the guys are a little bigger, a little quicker, and certainly much stronger now. Uh, I, I think the game has changed somewhat. It's gone to a more finesse game, and so those guys who do play physical stand out a little more now. Well, I, I think I'm one of the dinosaurs from that because um, I learned from Maurice in the young years, and now I'm getting into this high tech. <laughs> and I'm learning. Oh, I'm high tech. High tech. Yeah. <laughs> what about the game tonight, though? What do you see, CB? Well, Portland has not established any inside game whatsoever. That's been the story of the whole series. They just playing outside, and that's why they're down. Grace, what about your former team? Uh, I, I think Portland does need to establish some inside game. I think they need to rebound, and I think that their their lack of production from their bench has really hurt them this this half anyway. Does this look like the Detroit Pistons, Rick, that you played on? Yes, it does. They're really playing with a lot of confidence right now. They're bringing the ball down low, and they're establishing the guard rotation game right now. Charles, so much has been written about the MVP award. Uh, you came in second in voting for the overall award. Uh, your thoughts on it now that you've had time to look back on it? Well, I said earlier, there's too many guys deserving. Uh, Patrick Ewan, Akeem Olajuwon, Carl Malone, and David Robinson. I don't think you can argue with Magic getting it, because there's too many good guys just to pick one guy. You're going to be around next year? Every year it seems like you want to go somewhere or you want to bring somebody <laughs> in or go somewhere else. What's your story this year? I'm happy in Philly. We, we're the Atlanta Division champions. And next year we hope that we get a couple more players on the bench we can go further. Going at, you'd like Hot Rod, wouldn't you? I love Hot Rod. He's, I think he's the best sick man in basketball. and We need somebody to back him up. Oh, so what are, you, what are you going to do with me? We'll put you down on the end of the bench. Okay. <laughs> when will Thump and Bump be in the finals? What about the Philadelphia 76ers? Well, we're looking forward to making that... <laughs> We're trying to get here real quick. <laughs> By the way, before the game, Je James Edwards said that you guys aren't thump and bump. You're thud and dud. <laughs> Which one's dud? <laughs> well, uh, he's dud. Uh, he's dud. I'm stud. He's dud. <laughs> Maurice, I know there's a lot of great golf courses up here. I want to show you, though, something with Charles Barkley here. This was the other day. And, folks, this is what? A layup? Oh, no, that's the putt-putt ring. Now, watch this. Thump. <laughs> now watch this sportsmanship here. You gotta love that, huh? How was your golf game, CB? Well, you know, I, who saw that? I wasn't supposed to be filming that. I do get a little frustrated. It's getting better. I haven't been able to play this summer because I got to have shoulder surgery. But uh, hopefully after eight weeks are over, I can play again. Maurice, can you bring back the old scowl for us? That was a great oh, scowl. I, I lost that scowl. When I retired, I gave it away. But you know what truly amazes me is how a man of Barkley's size can actually dominate the game as much as he's done. I, that's a big credit to you. Thank Charles. you, Maurice. Thank God, number one, because he gave me the talent. But thank you for the compliment. How is your shoulder, seriously? Uh, it's been giving me a lot of problems the last couple of weeks, but the surgery won't be that big of a deal, the doctor tells me. and just take eight weeks to rehab, and I'll be ready to go. What do you think of Bill Lambert? I think he's a great player. I think he, he's a very intelligent player. He does some things that I don't appreciate, uh, but he, you got to give him credit. He's a very good player. You like him? Uh, yes, he's still a friend. Um, it's just on the court I don't like him, and I'll try to kill him. I still, 
I still say some of that stuff we saw can't be fair, but you guys know better than I do, right? Oh, it's fair. Some of the stuff Bill does isn't fair, but as long as you can't get the rest of it, it's all right. You talk about the enforcers, but let me tell you, folks, you only see them on the basketball court. These three guys are three of the nicest guys you'll ever meet, and I'm ha happy to have them as Don't friends. be telling people we're nice guys. Don't be telling people we're nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They're the you worst guys I know. We're, we're still playing. Thanks for joining us, fellas. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, when we come back...